Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube video channel. Today is gonna be a special video because if you're reading my blog Lee Mademoiselle then you maybe know that I have my blog for three years now and um, exactly today is the third anniversary. So therefore I thought I'm gonna do a giveaway kind of saying thank you for all of your support and all of your love through the last years and um, if you're curious about the giveaway just stay until the end of the video and there I will um, tell you more information about it. <laughs> Coming to the video for today, today I thought we we're gonna talk about uh, five secrets how to get beautiful, shiny, and glowy and strong hair. I have to admit that with my hair I actually I face a lot of problems with my hair because um, I really have thick and strong hair which actually is good but then on the other hand it is so hard to style it and also it grows so fast so I always have to go to the hairdresser and um, my biggest problem is that when I'm living or when I'm going to countries with a high humidity um, my hair gets fizzy so this is actually my biggest problem but I would say here in Germany I can handle my hair very well because also the temperature is a little bit more dry so um, it is definitely easier for me here and I also have to admit that my hair didn't always look like this so I thought uh, I'm gonna share with you today my five secrets what I'm gonna do with my hair that it looks like this First of all, I have to say uh, my best friend, she loves her products. So I learned a lot of th uh, things from her as well. I learned a lot of things from my mom and um, of course from my hairdresser as well. So these are like all my secrets which I gained through the last year and also I am um, because I had really um, destroyed hair so I need to kind of like go through our progress for repairing it and today we're just gonna talk a little bit about that as well. Okay, <laughs> so, so. starting with my first secret, we're gonna talk about the shampoo. When I'm going into the shower and I'm washing my hair, I'm actually washing my hair twice. Therefore, I'm using a hair shampoo from Kerastase. So the first time I'm washing my hair just normal, I'm going to put shampoo in my hair and then I'm going to um, massage it into my hair and then I'm going to cleanse it out. And after that, I'm going to do it exactly the same the second time. Every time when I'm washing my hair, I'm doing it twice because I always have the feeling that um, it gets more clean and um, I don't know, I just have a mind, for me it's more the feeling that because I remember sometimes when I was younger, you know, um, I, I had even longer hair than like this and then it was so exhausting and I was just standing there and washing my hair, you know, and then um, I don't know what happened but I didn't rinse it out correctly. So sometimes when I got out of the shower and I was drying my hair, I realized at some part I still have shampoo or conditioner in my hair. And since that, now I'm always doing it twice because just for, uh, for the case that I miss something and then it's just like okay I know for myself this time now I washed my hair twice it should be clean by now <laughs> also I have the feeling that when I wash my hair twice I also have the feeling that um, it um, take it looks lo uh, for a longer time clean and it doesn't uh, get like sticky and everything so um, I can wash my hair every um, two or three days instead of washing my hair every um, day for example so that was my first secret that I mean I have people um, who were saying this is ridiculous it's just that I made it up in my mind but then on the other hand I also have friends who are washing uh, their hair twice as well so I would say this is definitely my first secret about the second secret we're gonna talk about conditioner and hair masks. I know it is exactly like with my skincare. In the beginning, when I was younger, I was a teenager and I was definitely not so into appearance and beauty and cosmetics and everything and I was so lazy. I really have to admit that I was so lazy. So I thought like, oh, like for skincare, I was like, I would, I thought I would never have the time for doing the double cleansing, which I mentioned in all my Korean beauty skincare favorites and videos. And also then I thought, 
hell no, I definitely don't have the time for doing a hair mask and everything. I really am short on time, so I have to get ready as soon as possible. But then, I don't know. I mean, I found out, for example, if you don't condition it, if you don't are using a conditioner product after you're getting out of the shower, you um, having problems with because your hair is like kind of like how do you say it in English when your hair is like messy and you can't get through your hair with your uh, brushes and then also it hurts like hell. So I thought, okay, this is the solution. But then, if you want to have like healthy, hair, shiny hair and this is what I would say, I really recommend it to everyone, you need to sacrifice your time. And in the end, it's not really sacrificing your time because you're doing something for yourself. So, um, afford your time into hair mask. First of all, my conditioner is also from Kerastase. I'm using it the same uh, as the same product line for, as my shampoo. This is the one for, for unruly hair. I don't know, what is my shampoo saying? Oh yeah, it's for unruly hair. It's kind of like because my hair is very fizzy and if I don't do a blow dry, I'm looking like a poodle. And um, so I'm doing it like this. I am using a hair mask at least once a week. And sometimes if I have time, I'm even doing it twice a week. Because I would say in general, I wash my hair th three times a week. And if I'm not doing my hair mask, I'm using the conditioner. If you have destroyed hair like I had, like if your hair is like dry, if you have like spliss, I hope you say spliss in English because you say spliss in German, <laughs> like when you have like, you know, like when your hair is like splitting and um, I mean in that case the only thing that helps is that you go into the hairdresser and you just cut it off. I know it sounds scary because I don't like short hair either and I always like, I remember when I was younger I went to the hairdresser and I was like please just cut it only like this, you know? <laughs> so um, at one time I really had to, I think I cut it off like this because I really had long and short hair and I had that I mean like hair just to my shoulders because I had to cut it off because it was so destroyed and after you cut it off, you need to do something because if you don't do anything, it will keep break or it will keep getting spliss. So um, the solution for this one are hair mask. And at the moment, I'm using my hair mask is from Innisfree. This is a Korean brand. Uh, I uh, I already mentioned this one in my Korean favorite. Um, Korean beauty favorite products. I talked about this brand as well. This one is uh, from Innisfree and it is for dry hair. And this one is from Kerastase as well. By the way, Kerastase is a French brand. It belongs to L'Oreal Group, I think. And um, for this one, I'm using a hair mask when I have really a lot of time. And I need this time because to be honest, I am putting my hair mask in my hair for 30 minutes. If I'm short on time, then I'm just doing it for 20 minutes, but I mean still 20 minutes is a long time, so I'm going to do this for 20 to 30 minutes. I often do this on Sundays, because Sundays, or I would say on the weekend, is really like that time when I tell myself, okay, it's me time, I'm going to do this, I want to have healthy and shiny hair, so I'm going to do this. So when I'm done and I'm rising like it out and my hair is so smooth and so soft it's like silk you know so and I noticed it that when I put it on for 20 minute minutes at least it is definitely better than just having it on like for five minutes so um, that's one of the biggest things when I'm in a shower and I really take time to do all these kind of things of course sometimes I don't even have time on the weekends because I'm going out uh, I'm having a meeting or I'm doing something else then I'm trying to do it during the week but I, I'm, I'm doing this at least once a week and I'm always finding the time for doing it because like, it's kind of my priority now because I know how it feels when you don't want to cut your hair and it is destroyed and you have to do it. Also the problem is because that I have um, colored hair. At the moment it is more dark but I used to have like bright hair and um, if you follow me on Instagram you um, saw that I I really, when it comes to hair colors, I have such smooth swings because I'm switching from dark to um, bright hair, from bright hair to dark hair. So it changed and of course 
during all those processes my hair is like um, it's getting destroyed it is like really sensitive so uh, that's the reason why I need even more products for preventing it um, to get broken and to getting destroyed or just like for keeping it shiny and glow <laughs> yes so um, this was secret number two after all the steps you're getting out of the shower and then we're gonna talk about my secret number three we're gonna talking about brushes yes I have two different brushes because um, this one I have is from GHD with natural um, um, how do you call this? Um, natural bristles and um, I don't know if you know this, but you shouldn't supposed to use um, natural bristles when you have wet hair because when your hair is wet it is really weak and it gets um, more uh, broken easily and therefore I have my other brush this one is from um, Tangle teaser and you have like those normal tangle teasers. I had that one as well But I'm using that one more for traveling at home I just like it how it feels like when you have it like in your hand and you can brush your hair and um, the difference here is like this is like with um, Plastic teeth and you have like different um, Like length of it. So um, when you're getting out of when I'm getting out of the shower I'm using this one because my hair won't get so destroyed also um, when I'm getting out of the shower I'm always trying to put my body lotion on Ooh, body lotion on it first because then my hair is getting a little bit drier just like it's not like completely wet wet and then I'm just going through over my uh, hair with my tangle teaser before I'm drying it and then uh, um, if I'm not get, coming out of the shower it is more like just like in the morning or in the um, my evening routine before I'm going to bed then I'm using the GHD with the natural crystals because then um, you get really like smooth and shiny hair as well keep in mind that if you're getting out of the shower and you have wet hair you need um, a brush with plastic crystals and if you want to have like more like a finished look for styling and everything then you can go for uh, um, the natural uh, crystal brush Secret number four is gonna be about styling because now you just got out of the shower, you brushed your hair and everything and then uh, in most cases, I mean there know there are people who are letting the hair um, drying just like naturally without a blow dry and with like you say probably air drying and the problem for me is I can't do air drying because if I don't do a blow dry my hair is getting crazy. I'm gonna try to find a picture and I'm gonna blend it into how my hair looks like when I'm not gonna do a blow dry. Also, um, I remember, oh yeah, I think it will have one from Seattle because I did a blow dry there as well, but Seattle weather is crazy. Like the humidity is so high that even with a blow dry, I'm looking like a cool. I'm just gonna uh, blend it in here probably now and then you can see it. So for me, Every time when I'm getting out of the shower, and that's the reason why I need a long, long time and I'm even planning on taking a long time because I just know for myself how long I need. And it's funny because when I was living in New York and I had to share my apartment and then I was asking them, can I just block the sh uh, bathroom like for one hour or something. So um, yes, because I am blow drying my hair for 30 minutes. To be honest, I always have to admit that my blow drying sessions are more like a karaoke session because I'm always there putting my headphones in and singing and dancing around with the hair uh, brush and with the hair blow and always feeling like a little pop star. <laughs> but when you're doing your blow um, dry, it is very important it's like to uh, see your hair um, dryer and your blow drying like when you style your hair with a curl uh, hair curler or with a straightener it is very important that you put something in your hair for putting something in your hair it depends on what I am doing twice no I th I'm think once a week or twice a week I'm using a pro protein cream which is for damaged hair and it's protecting my hair this one is from Alterna it is uh, from the caviar repair hair production line and um, I discovered this one in Sephora in 
New York. So um, when I got out of the shower, I brushed my hair. I'm just putting in to this one into my half damp, half wet hair, and then I'm gonna um, blow drying it. Also, then um, it depends when because it says you sh you're not allowed. Or you shouldn't use this like too often. So when I'm not using this hair product, I'm using now. It really depends if I want to have like curls like this, or if I want to having like leaving my hair straight because my hair is more straight. And um, for straightening hair, I just leave like a leave in hair perfectioner and I'm just like smoothing it out and then I'm doing my hair blow dry. Or if I want to have curl hair, I um, before I am mean, using my um, curly, I'm gonna put on my curl holding spray, which is from GHD. So what I want to tell you here is that when you're doing your blow dry or you just straighten your hair or you just... Um, Curl your hair, it is super important yet that you put uh, protection, styling products in your hair because then like with the heat it doesn't get too dry and it's not drying it out and then it uh, won't get destroyed so easily and um, just think of it that it's like kind of, how do you say it, like a protector. So um, this step is really, really important as well. When I was younger I never did this because I was drying my hair and um, yeah, like I said, I was super lazy and I didn't have so much time when I was younger and then I put it on like the highest level and it was like the hottest level and it didn't do anything in my hair. So my hair was not protected at all and it got too dry and I always had dry hair because of that. So it is super important that you put something in your hair for protecting it. And the last secret, when you finished it, everything, this is when you, um, you can use this step when you just blow dry your hair and if you're gonna straighten your hair or if you're gonna curl your hair, you're doing it after the straightening, after the curl. I am gonna talking about a hair oil. Don't forget to use a hair oil. You just put it into here at the end of your hair so that your hair doesn't look like dry and it's like shiny and glowy. Don't put it on um, the top of your head because then it looks oily and then it looks like you didn't even take a shower. So um, it is important that you just put it on here on the end of the hair. I'm using my hair oil from um, Alternative Caviar line as well. It smells super 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 good. It's really sweet and um, it always reminds me of summer. So I'm using this one, it's really nice. And um, yes, this is my last step and this is my last secret as well. First of all, it helps you for preventing that your hair is getting dry. And second of all, then you also get like a nice, nice hair smell as well. This was the last secret. And um, all of those things were my secrets how to get like um, shiny and strong hair. And hair. So, talking about the giveaway I just mentioned in the beginning of this video. I'm gonna have like two prizes. And um, the first prize is where I'm having here a Huda Beauty Winter Highlight Palette. And this is so, so beautiful. Like the colors are amazing. And I'm gonna give this away to one of you lucky winner. And um, also because in a relation, because the other price is a little bit like has a bigger value, so I thought like I'm gonna give you one of your lucky winner the Suda Beauty Winter Highlight Palette, also with a hair product, a hair care from Elgon. I mean, since we're already talking about hair, and um, also I'm gonna try to put more a little bit like goodies and freebies in it, so this is more like um, you know these two products, and then it's gonna be more like a surprising gift box. And the other gift you can win is ta -da! Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Scent of Dream uh, perfume. In this is original size with uh, 50 milliliters, and um, this would be the second prize to win. This giveaway is just as a way of saying thank you thank you for <laughs> thank you for your love and for your support i really really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart that you're always supporting me and for all your kind words and everything and yes so how i gonna do this i thought since i'm gonna do this here on youtube and on my website the rules, I'm gonna put all the information down below in the information box as well. It's the uh, rules are just simply just um, subscribe me here on like, we're gonna do it like this. So 
you can attend on each platform and each platform gives you one chance. The first platform would be here on YouTube. There you just have to subscribe me and leave me a comment down below on this video because it's so important. I need to have a way to reach out to you. And um, yes, so this would be the first way. The second way would be on my website. There you just uh, there you have to follow me on Bloglovin if you have Bloglovin and leave me a comment down below on the um, article, which I'm gonna link down below as well in the information box. Please also tell me um, which a giveaway you prefer if you want to have the perfume or if you want the Huda Beauty like the perfume from Charlotte Tilbury or if you prefer the Huda Beauty um, makeup um, highlighter palette. If you don't tell me anything I just um, think that you are happy with both of it and then I'm just gonna um, find the lucky winner of it. So I hope I said everything right, but please check out the information box below, down below this video for more information about the giveaway. And yes, if you liked the video, just um, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, subscribe me on YouTube or just head over to my website if you're more interested in topics such as travel, lifestyle and fashion. And thank you for watching this video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support through all the years or also like for your support when you're just new to this channel. And yeah, don't forget to share with friends and family. And I see you the next time. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>